friends from my last video you would have understood that what is taxability of crypto income however certain tax treatments are still not clear for example what happens when businesses receive payments in the form of crypto so let's take a deep dive into the new income tax rule for crypto and understand the incidence of tax in such cases Hello and welcome. I'm Jyoti Arora, tax expert at Clear. We are India's largest tax and financial services platform for individuals. Do subscribe to our channel to support us and to get clear explanation of finance concepts. In this video, we will see how sale proceeds of businesses accepted in crypto are taxed. So let's get started. So tax on crypto income is to be paid at 30% flat rate. How do you calculate the crypto income? Now crypto income can be calculated by reducing the cost of acquisition that is purchase cost from the consideration amount received that is the transfer value or the sale price. No deduction is allowed for expenses related to crypto income. For example, you cannot take deductions for any transaction cost incurred or charges paid to crypto exchanges or any other related cost. Only the cost of acquisition can be deducted. Also, if instead of profit, if you have incurred loss while transferring the crypto, then you are again in an unfavorable position. You cannot use that loss to set off against any other type of income like business income or salary income or house property income, etc. And such loss is also not allowed for carry forward to be set off against any income in future years. Further, the government has inserted a new provision for deduction of tax that is TDS at 1%. This TDS is to be deducted at the time of payment that is at the time of transfer of virtual digital asset. TDS will be deducted if the aggregate value of the transfer of virtual digital asset is more than rupees 10,000 during that financial year. However, if any individual or HUF makes the payment but such person does not have any income under the head income from business or profession during that financial year or if such individual or HUF has any income from business but the business income is not more than rupees 1 crore during the previous year or if they have any income from profession the gross receipts are not more than 50 lakhs during that previous financial year, then such individuals are not liable to deduct TDS unless the total aggregate value of the transfer of crypto, that is virtual digital asset, does not exceed Rs. 50,000. I hope you are able to comprehend the basic rules of crypto taxation. If yes, then please comment yes in the comment section below. Now, if you carry a business and you accept crypto for sales of your goods and services, then what should you do? What will be your tax implication? So the government has not clearly defined the situation where crypto is accepted in place of currency. In fact, the government has been a time and again clarifying that virtual digital assets are not currencies. Therefore, a payment of goods and services via crypto will be considered as transfer of virtual digital asset and because a transfer has taken place, such an event will also lead to tax event for the one transferring the crypto. Tax at the rate of 30% will be levied. Also, TDS implication will come into play at 1% at the time of transfer of cryptos. Besides, the business will have to report the fair market value of crypto receipts accepted as consideration towards providing goods and services. Once the business sells these cryptos or transfers them in any manner, again an event of transfer of crypto will take place and the tax will have to be paid on such transfer. So folks, if you are accepting crypto for your business, then note down all these tax implications. It will help you to avoid any non-compliance. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel to support us and to get clear understanding of finance and related concepts. Stay tuned for more such updates. Take care and goodbye.